Hey guys, super excited. Just got this game a couple days ago. I wanted to do a, a walkthrough of it with you guys, kind of show you uh, what it looks like. Um, I've already kind of checked it out a little bit, but uh, again, wanted to make sure you guys could see this game with me. I've only had it for a couple days. We've played it a little bit, but haven't haven't done the full uh, go through of everything yet. I wanted to do that with you guys. So. This is a Gauntlet Dark Legacy, um, was the fourth installment of Gauntlet, uh, right after Gauntlet Legends. Um, let's do a quick, you know, just check out all four sides. We'll start with the front here. Um, look at the control panel. Um, it's, it's actually in pretty good condition, um, you know. I don't see anything weird with it. I've been playing on the red. Uh, my daughter's been playing on blue and then my wife on yellow. Nobody on green yet, but you know, I noticed the, the fight button here has a little like rough spot on it. So probably won't replace it. I'll probably just trade it out with the, the start button here. Um, just since this one, so you know, it doesn't get used as much and smoother feel to it. But, but overall, uh, really good condition. Um, the the front sticker here this is different than the gauntlet legends uh this was specific to dark legacy um look at the side here in pretty good shape a little gouge there in the front just from getting moved at some point in time um and then you can see too that these screws let's try to focus in there a little rusty, so I'll probably take those out and tumble them and repaint them. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I kind of like, you know, uh, the games like this that are in good condition but have some some minor imperfections just from time. I think it's it's you know it's neat to keep those. It's just a piece of recorded history. Um, let's check the other side here too. Pretty good condition too. Um, a little gouge there under the eye. A couple things on the bottom here. You know, nothing too crazy. A little bit of rust on the screws again. You also notice that the T molding on the on the control panel uh, is black. It should be yellow, uh, just like all that stuff there. So we're definitely going to replace that. I want to get that back to to the way it should look. Um, coin doors. You know, they got the token, had the token inserts in there. Pretty good shape. A few nicks, nothing crazy. You kind of see overall, it's in, it's in pretty good shape. Um, monitor, no burn. You got the instructions right there. See all the different stuff you can do. It's pretty crazy. The uh, uh, fight and turbo buttons are fun when you when you build up all your your turbo. If you do it together with a, a partner at the same time, you do some pretty neat stuff. But here's all the different different uh, instructions for the game, um, and then the items of legend. <laughs> uh, see lots of neat fun things you can find in the game. Uh, we haven't found any of this yet, but um, you know. Uh, definitely be on the lookout. And then the marquee is currently uh, down um, just because uh, it was sh had to be shipped this way. It's a huge marquee. We'll actually put that up in this video so you guys can see it. Um, let's check out the sides here. So, uh, you can see this is Gauntlet Legends artwork. But for Dark Legacy, uh, what they did is they had like a midway sticker they put over the Atari uh, logo there. And then down here they had a Dark Legacy uh, sticker that they put over uh, that little piece right there on the front. You know, I've heard and I, I've seen online like in their flyer they had specific side art for Dark Legacy, but I've never seen one. Uh, in real life or in a picture other than their flyer. So I've heard they're out there. I just haven't seen one. You know, comment if you know anything about that below. would be interested to know. Um, and you can see, like right here, 
you know, there was an issue here and the, the guy that had this before me ordered some replacement artwork and then cut out the piece uh, to put there in an effort to preserve the original Midway logo, um, you know, that was put on here over Atari. And I, I think that's okay. I think that's acceptable to do it that way. I prefer to keep, you know, all of this artwork original. Let's check out the other side here. Uh, let's take you back to this side though really quick. I was gonna show you guys pretty good gouge down here um, Happened at some point in this life, but You know that one is what it is. Um, we're gonna leave that one alone it's, it, it's a pretty good gouge, but Nothing we can do and just some minor, you know minor stuff just just, you know, time from being moved and shipped around, you know, stuff happens. But uh, again, I kind of like that. It's just kind of like, you know, pieces of, of this particular game's history and nothing too radical on it. So I think we'll leave it as is there. Uh, let's check out the other side. This side's actually pretty good. An issue here, right, just from putting the marquee up and down. Um, you know, a little tear in the Midway logo. Again, nothing crazy. A little issue there. A little issue there. But overall, pretty good. I'm happy with it. Okay, let's look at the back now. See Midway's got their, their info on there, all their trademark numbers, and this particular machine, I found this interesting. Let's see if we can zoom in here. There we go, March 31st, 2000. But then this was interesting, this sticker's peeling off, but you can tell this is a dedicated uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy, it was issued by Midway, um, and, and on this particular sticker, it says, you know, the manufacturer date was 329 of 2000. Um, you know, probably just some issue with when they printed these stickers and, and how they got placed on the machine. Um, I have no reason to think it's anything but original. And there was a sticker here. It's missing now. Um, I think there was another sticker originally right here. Comment if you guys know. I feel like there was another one here. You can definitely tell there was one here. I don't know if I can, can find like a reprint of that or something and get it on there. Um, back's in pretty good shape, you know? Um, power supply here. We'll see when we open this up. They actually kind of rigged this power supply up to uh you know another one and we'll take a peek at that when we get inside i'm probably going to replace it you know get back to the original but um let's go back to the front i want to show you guys the the coin doors here okay guys uh, let's get in here i thought this was cool um you know, you can just see inside here, coin mechs are in good shape. Um, you know, and if you look back in here, you know, you got like the volume up, volume down, you got a test mode, you got service credits, you know, these four buttons back here. Um, tested all those, everything works there. Let's look at, I thought this was kind of interesting. Let's test, uh, get inside here. Not test. <laughs> uh, I thought this was kind of fun when I pulled it out. So, you know, the last guy didn't pull his quarters out of it or just thought that was kind of interesting to see those in there. It was kind of fun. And then we also got a, uh, a game counter down here. This one's at 26,678. So this game's made about, you know, at a quarter a pop. Uh, you know, 6,500 bucks. Um, one thing I noticed here too, um, you know, I don't think the proper lock is on there. There's too much wiggle. I'll have to get that altered or replaced. I don't like that. would like it to be nice and tight and snug. You know, oh yeah, here too, looking here. Um, couple quarters. 
you know, nickels. So you put nickels in there. Kind of neat, you know. Okay, let's check. When I got this from the guy, he had this open, or had this uh, not locked down. And he had the keys uh, taped down in here, just to the top of the, uh, you know, in, be in behind the coin mech. So I, I pulled the keys out of there. Um, yeah, and this all looks, you can see, it looks pretty pretty darn clean in here. And, um, you know, not a whole lot of, whole lot of mess. So they, they, they took pretty good care of this machine. Like I said, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, uh, let's get this marquee up. He had these pretty loose in there, and I'll have to get, these are like a Torx security bit, all these screws. Um, I'm gonna have to get a set so I can get these tightened down good. Uh, here's one of the, one of the bolts for the marquee. Ah, there we go. This one's missing the washer. Um, this side does have the washer. side again. Got the washer here. No, no washer there. Must have just got lost over time. But okay, let's get this up here. Oh yeah, that's cool. Very cool. We'll get that lit up, a huge marquee. Oops. All right, let's just get this in there to secure it for now. What do you guys think? Pretty cool looking game? This is a, I always thought this was one of the coolest looking games. I remember when I uh, uh, first played this in the Regal Cinemas at North Point. Uh, I think they called it. I think they called it Newport Cinemas. I remember the location. I just don't remember the name. But it was it was up north where I live, and this gigantic cinema. And they had like a little mini arcade in there. And, and I remember when they first got this game. It was so cool, and so many people played it. It was super fun. Um, oh, I thought it was a really really pretty game. Nice looking game. I think when I was playing it, though, I was playing Legends. You know, it was right when the the game had come out. We'll get a we'll get a washer in there eventually, but for now, just so it's you know, we got our speakers right here. This is one of like those cool games. You know, really really uh, uh, fun to listen to, like great audio and and you know, Wizard needs food. You know that type. Of, it's, it's really cool. All right, um, let's get into the back here. Kind of do a once over of this. Then maybe we'll do some gameplay. Show you guys the gameplay. Maybe it was this one. Huh. Ah, I got it. <laughs> Take this out of here. Gently. Let's just move this out of the way. Alright, let's see the goodies in here. And I saw this, but I left it where it was because I wanted you guys to see. I'm going to pull it out here. I thought this was just kind of super cool to find, you know, in any of these old games. Uh, a token. Um, doesn't say where it's from. It's got a little design on it. No cash value. Let me know if you guys have seen that one before, where it's from. It's pretty cool. Um, just thought that was fun when I found that. So I'm going to drop that in the coin box up front. Got somebody's, you know, hotel key card. That's just garbage. Still kind of cool. You wonder how it ended up in there. <laughs> um, you know, small manila envelope, nothing in it. 
got the, the owner's manual for the uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy dedicated 27 inch monitor. You know, got all the good stuff in here. This, this was great that he still had this. Was, was super happy when he told me that that was in there. Um, some other stuff in here too. All the goodies. Um, you know, the different stickers for the amount of play. Oh, neat. The Susan B. Anthony uh, dollar coin. Uh, one coin, one play, two play minimum. You know, all, all the different stickers, Atari stuff. I don't know if this was for Dark Legacy or not, but very cool. Got a... That's neat, like a centipede. I don't know what this is. I don't think it's the owner's manual. Some type of like... Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it's like some something to do with the uh, uh, different send settings for uh, centipede. That's kind of cool and original. It's a little beat up. Got some footprints on it. <laughs> um, what is this? It's like a little warning paper that's been ripped. Been also been stepped on. Um... Oop. Bunch of uh, screws in there. I want to set those aside. Got a Wells Gardner uh, monitor. Um, owner's manual and like parts, parts identification uh, list here. It's like just a part list and like a diet wiring diagram. Kind of cool. This is not a Wells Gardner monitor though. Um, some type of uh, registration card for a Williams game. Set that one aside. Hard drive handling instructions. Tells you what to do with that. Field installation. This is like a universal coin door. It looks like a lot of this stuff was for, uh, you know, different things this particular operator had. War. Cabinet linking instructions. Yeah, interesting. Wells Gardner. 19-inch uh, color monitor. Like a manual and wiring diagram stuff. Oh yeah, that's cool. Got an opera. Got a uh, uh, manual here for war, final assault. Um, you know, I don't have this game, but he had it. He had it inside here, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what else we got here. Another registration card. Looks like some more paperwork. Uh, another Wells Gardner parts list, another war linking instru another war linking instruction, another Wells Gardner um, parts list, another hard drive handling, a couple more <laughs> registration cards, another hard drive, another linking, another coin door, and another another piece of paper there. Let's see. If that is, let me turn on the, on the, uh, see if you guys can, uh, see in here. Let's look down in here. Uh, what else is in there? Another manual piece here. Let's see if we can reach in. Nothing in there. Um, that looks like it in there okay right, let's check out the board and stuff here uh hard drive you know maybe that maybe that coin maybe that token was from this palace pool i don't know uh, original hard drive there here's the the power supply you can see they they rigged it into this one so you can still use the on off switch here and plug in here but a new power supply i think i'm gonna i'm gonna put it back to, to this style here. Uh, I know that uh, I found one online that is 
uh, like a remake, you know, but it, it's the original style here. Um, probably will go with that. Uh, monitor, this is a, let's see if we can get the light down in here so you guys can see. This is a Neotech 27 inch. These games came with Neotechs, uh, so I believe this is the original monitor, but I believe it's been worked on too. Uh, you can see the uh, monitor isn't fully attached to the chassis there correctly, so I think they uh, I think they probably did some, some repair on it at some point, but I believe it's the original monitor. All the research I had done, uh, Neotech looked like the monitors they were putting into these at the time. Game's really clean, you know, inside and out. Uh, very happy with it. And, um, you know, pretty original with the exception of the power supply. Um, you know, I'd like to get that back to um, at least a remake of the original. I know that I think Hap had one that I saw uh, that looked just like this for this style of game. So, um, oh, last thing here I wanted to show you guys. See if we can focus in there. Like serial number and when the game was made, you can see it's another, you know, 329, uh, 2000, and the serial number matches up uh, with the back here. So again, I believe everything to be original. Maybe we'll do some stuff in the future uh, on this game. Um, like replacing some of those rusty bolts on the control panel and the T-molding. Uh, but I want to plug this in and show it to you guys working. And uh, that'll be it for this one. Alright guys, got this booted up. Um, see the marquees all lit up there? Yeah, that is cool monitor here doing its thing and there it is all right guys here it is it's on oh and by the way that package back there on the recycle bin that's a uh, uh, he sent me the side art, you know, I had told you how he had replaced this piece. You know, he had the rest of the replacement side art, and he sent it to me, but I'm not going to do anything with it. It's just, it's just not the same quality, you know, when you look at, see if we can focus in there. Look at the, the replacement side art, and then see how close we can get here. The original. I mean, original's way better, obviously. So we're just gonna leave that little piece. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys some quick gameplay here. Show the marquee really quick lit up. That's really cool. All right, let me just kind of load in here really quick just so you can see. Uh, maybe I'll have my daughter come play with me if she wants. You wanna come play? Sure. Okay, come on up. What am I gonna do with this? Just set it down. All right, let's go ahead and load in really quick. Go ahead, honey. Enter initials to build a character. Let's just pick, just pick whatever. Let's just get in there so we can go on Select a character. Uh, you can see he plays the dwarf, the knight, the sorceress, the jester, the warrior, the valkyrie, the wizard, the archer. I'm gonna go with in this one. Let's go with the Valkyrie. Welcome, Red Valkyrie. Welcome, Blue Valkyrie. Oh, and my daughter's gone with the same. Okay, let's go with uh, we got Dream Hard, Desert Hard, Ice Hard. Forest is a medium. Castle is a medium. Province is a medium. And then the mountain and sky are easy. So let's go with the mountain one here. The mountain kingdom. You are now entering the valley of fire. Really cool. Make your way through here and make it to a boss at the end. Oh man, this game is great. <laughs> 
some barrels that contain items such as blue mercury and the square of amulet. Get the keys, all the power-ups. It's all about killing, getting experience, getting gold so you can get power-ups. She just got some magic there. You can see here, this is like your, your turbo bar. You know, and mine's all lit up. So now if I hit, you know, fight turbo at the same time, you do a special attack there. What do you think, Alex? You like this game? Ah. Uh, oh, she's got a special item there, a thunder hammer. And you can see, you know, right now it's set up on free play, but, you know, your health counts down as you go, and also as you get attacked. Um, and then when you run out of health, you gotta put more money in, you know, and you get the great thing about this game is if off your initials and your uh, password, you can save all your characters and all your levels. Turbo also makes you run fast. Special attack there. So yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. I mean, I'll, uh, you know, as I do a little bit of work on this game with the team molding, with the, you know, rusty uh, security Torx bolts, maybe a couple other minor, minor things. We gotta get a light bulb in here, you know, make these locks. I don't wanna get this kind of job. So, you know, maybe in the next video on this game, we will do a, uh, you know, do those repairs to this, and I think we'll call this one good. Like I said, I really like the way this game looks and how it, uh, uh, you know, has some, some imperfections. They don't all need to be perfect, you know. I'm, I'm really happy with the way this game is and the way it looks. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you, you subscribe, like the video. Uh, you know, I hope to put more arcade videos on here, so I really like your guys' feedback or any information you know about this game that you feel you want to share with the community, please do. Uh, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. So thanks for watching and have a good one.